So in beautiful sunshine and temperatures nudging three figures, away we go. FC Cincinnati in the blue strip. There's a bit of swagger about Cincinnati in the opening 15 minutes. In towards Daly. And Daly on the turn! Oh, what a save! only by the face of the bar! Knows he's up against a rookie right back in Dotson, so he's going to pull off immediately when that ball turns over. And then another rookie, Dolly up front. Scarf swirled above supporters' heads. Partly in ventilation. And it is Gregoosh! And it's touched in! Gregoosh has one option here with this, with pace. Watch Hoyt right in front of the near post. Says United, perhaps fortunate to be a goal up in this contest against the bottom side in Major League Soccer. Here's Dotson. Lining one up and scoring wonderfully! Well, I reckon in these parts, he is a player with the world at his feet. You get Grey Goose playing him out of trouble. And by the way, FC Cincinnati, that's 45 to 50 yards with no pressure whatsoever on a rookie right back stepping right into it. And how's that for your first goal of your professional career? And Rodriguez to Quintero. Still going, and Finley makes it three. For Minnesota United, the question is, does he need to score? Well, Adrian he tells It's one of the reasons why they're under the cosh again. This is Darwin Quintero. Oh, what In a for ball. Angelo Rodriguez. Goal at his mercy, and that is four. Going into this Gold Cup break, Minnesota United lost three in a row. And yet there are two victories in Open Cup. To Cincinnati, who trained at Minnesota's facility at the National Sports Center at Blaine yesterday. That's the Desma! And Manoni makes a mess of it. And FC Cincinnati are on the board. And Emmanuel Ledesma finally scores an MLS goal. And in possession. Now, he hasn't shown up today playing a part on the defending side of things. Ibarra. Now the half volley by Ledesma. Olam. And a para! A nap hand for Minnesota. And a brace for Ike Para. Kapar, both players have been a huge part of the resurrection. One by Greg Goosh. Mason Toy. And Toy finishes beautifully. When you talk about Mason Toy being raw, it's not in these moments. It's not 1v1. It's not the ability to finish plays off. Toy leaves it because he would have been offside. Finley didn't have that problem. Here's Mason Toy, and there is goal number seven from number seven, Kevin Molino. A real project, but someone I want to watch is Mason Toy over the next six to 12 months for Minnesota United. Seventh heaven for Minnesota United. FC Cincinnati left in the depths of despair.